Your gynecologist has recommended that you have surgery to remove fibroid tumors from your uterus. But what does that actually mean? The uterus is part of a woman's reproductive system. It's the organ that contains and protects a growing fetus during pregnancy. Fibroids are non-cancerous tumors that grow on the inner or outer wall of the uterus. They are quite common. As many as 20% of women over 30 have them. In most cases, fibroids do not cause any discomfort and are never detected. Occasionally, however, fibroid tumors can cause problems. Complications from fibroid growth can include pressure on the urinary system, pressure on the intestines, interference with the reproductive system, or infection. Because these tumors can grow to be very large, surgery is usually recommended in order to restore health and to protect the uterus. On the day of your operation, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to the operating table and the anesthesiologist will begin to administer anesthesia, most probably general anesthesia by injection and inhalation mask. The surgeon will then apply an antiseptic solution to the skin and will place a sterile drape around the operative site. After you are asleep, a horizontal incision will be made across your lower abdomen. Your doctor will use an instrument called a retractor to pull the skin aside, exposing your abdominal muscles. The surgeon then separates the muscles by making a vertical incision. Another retractor is used to pull aside the muscles and hold them in place. The fibroid will now be visible. Using a pair of forceps, your doctor will take hold of the fibroid and pull it up and away from the wall of the uterus. Next, your doctor will cut the connection between the fibroid and the uterus. The fibroid is then removed. A series of stitches are used to close the incisions. First, the uterine wall is closed. Then the muscle retractor is removed and the abdominal muscles are sewn together. Finally, the incision in the skin is closed. And a sterile bandage is applied to the site. 